We like tonight to interview probably one of the most outstanding personalities in the Cleveland area, maybe of our time. Talk Gularty. Oh. And I'm sure it's going to be a lot of laughs. No. Mr. Gularty, yeah. I, I want may I call you Gularty? No, as a matter of fact, you may call me Mr. Gularty oh. or King. Uh, what do you want me to call you? I just saw the king. Oh, well, king. Yeah. I know it's getting close to that time. You know what time. The big four seasons. You already know. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You want to know what I'm talking about? Right here. Now that Halloween is here and Thanksgiving is near, be ready for Christmas and a happy new year. Hey, hey, hey. Why, oh, you It's your boy Mike T's back at you with another video. Did y'all like that little B-roll in the beginning? As I mentioned, y'all know it's near and dear to my heart, and especially for us that sell, you know, all types of creative customs, um, mugs, whatever your decoration or creative skill is. It is that season. That season is here. Yo, it's been a minute, but your boy's still been on the grit. And in today's video, we're going to do a little bit of sublimation. Mm -hmm. Well, the sublimation that we're going to be doing using Vibrant Vibes 8. Make sure you guys head down, hit the description and the links below to visit Vibrant Vibes Inc. Use promo code MikeTees10 to get 10% off your entire order. But yo, y'all ready for this video to begin? This party get started? Yes, sir. Let's great. So back in the 1960s, here in um, Ohio, especially Cleveland, Ohio, there used to be a show that came on TV and it would be like a horror film of sorts. Um, there was a couple of those local shows out there um, a few, just to name, Gallardi, um, Big Chuck, Little John, and a couple of other different little local television shows. Well, Gallardi, aka the king of terror, the king of uh, horror, the master of the theatrical theater as far as scary movies goes, became very popular, and he only lasted a get very many tv seats but his mark left a heavy presence on the community therefore actually being part of the cleveland indians well as you guys may know the cleveland indians name just got switched over and i don't want to get into any politics i'm just saying and stating the facts that i do know so this guy gallardi was associated with Cleveland and had became a staple in cleveland so there's now mock-up shirt with uh, his name mixed into the Indian's word or the Guardian's word. So now, as most know, that we go by the Cleveland Guardians. It's not the regular coach's see, but you can see it right there. They do have a couple of shirts out with Gallardi on it, and it says the Gallardians, which is homage to Gallardi. Today's image, we will be pressing Gallardi onto some sublimation flock that we got from Heat Transfer Warehouse. Once again, hit the links down in the description below. And we're gonna use one of his famous slurs or lines that he would use during the show, and we're gonna actually put it on the back of the shirt. And this is for my uncle's uh, birthday gift, actually. He's turning 70, and he was very fond of this show. This guy in particular right here, Gallardi. As you guys know, I got my temp set to 380 degrees for 45 seconds, which is a sweet spot for me. Make sure that when you purchase yours that you follow the instructions and then you make your own calculations based off of that. The sheet that we are using is an 8 by 11 or 8.5 by 11 with the felt side out, as you can see. We're simply going to cut this out. Um, you know what? I don't think we're going to cut this out. This has a white border on it, so we're gonna leave the white border on it. We're gonna sandwich it and hopefully we get it even. Um, the most important thing about this is when you're doing a cut, make sure not to reverse cut your flock. Now, your image is gonna be in reverse, but you can't tell because 
it's showing the right way on the camera. That's a good way of knowing that it's, <laughs> it's in reverse. But if it's not on camera, this is actually in reverse. And we're just going to sandwich the two, leaving the image and the white border around it. Now, once again, this is homage to Gallardia. Gallard. Gallardi. I'm not sure. Um, but you can see it used to come on on Saturdays on um, WJW TV, which is Channel 8 here in Ohio Station, um, Cleveland area. And it was Murder, Intrigue, and Suspense. He looked kind of creepy, though, if you ask me. Mm. Good character, though. So, I'm simply going to remove this off of here. And no, I'm not going to adjust my heat just to hit this. I believe the heat tack time for this uh, uh, flock is about 320 degrees for 15 seconds. Square as it is. Now you could do contour cuts, but this was in the film. Well, this is almost in like a poster board setting, so we're gonna leave it like so. Or I cut facing up, I still have this same pool. What it leaves is this tackier carrier that I'm going to then put on top once I get this nice and lined up. And for the sake of time, y'all, I'm checking my flaps. If you watch my previous video, you know what I mean when I say flaps. And normally I would go ahead and just tack that down. But today you're going to get the two for one special. Well, Mike, what's the two for one special? I'm going to do two things at once. Lint roller would have been nice. actually putting my Gallardi image down and you know what do I need to trim that no I don't need to trim that okay I can somewhat see through the paper so I'm just wanting to make sure that everything's even don't want too much on one side don't want too much on the other and remember if this is your first time guys use that heat tape some people need to use that heat tape, others don't. Um, I'm not gonna use it for this particular job. Hopefully that's straight, <laughs> looks straight to me. We're gonna go down and close her. Normally I would've put this on top, but I'm using Vibrant Vibes, so I know that the ink's not gonna bleed through. I'm not too worried about it. And it's gonna do what it needs to do. Shout out to all of those that made it to the Impressions show out in Fort Worth. Your boy was unable to make it. But hopefully you will see me at some of the newer up and coming events. I did miss the Graphics Pro Expo in Charlotte as well. All right, hand is on the trigger because I do not want it to jump. And I say a trigger, it's not really a trigger, but when that thing hops up, it seems like a trigger. All right, so now we're gonna remove this from there. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. I wish I would've trimmed the top because I do got a little bleedage right here. But to my uncle, that's not gonna matter. He's not gonna care about that one bit. So that came out pretty clean. Not too bad if you ask me. All right, let's get on to the next part. Having trouble making designs or finding the right fonts to help you create your one-of-a-kind masterpiece? Have no fear, Creative Fabric is here. And they're here to help you find the perfect design or the perfect font to help you create your one-of-a-kind custom. But Mike, what do I have to do? Tell me where to sign up at. No problem. Give me Hit a the second. Creative Fabric link down in the description link below. There you will find uh, one trial month for just a dollar. Four quarters. I know you got four quarters somewhere. In the couch, the ashtray, 
you know, maybe even on the counter. Weird places like that. You never know where you find strange things and pieces of change. Listen, for the first month, it's just a dollar. Then every month after, if you use my link, it'll be $19 per month. Yeah, check that out. But if you don't use my link, it's okay. I'm not going to cry or spill milk. Trust me, people. You just end up paying $29 instead of the $19 a month that you could have had if you would have used my link, people. Use my link! Listen, we've all been guilty of trying to rework, remake, redesign that Etsy design. So why not come to a place that has over 5 million different options? Create a fabric. Hit the link down in the description below. Get signed up. The first month's only going to cost you $1. Then every month after, if you use my link, will be $19 a month. It's a deal you can't miss. And if you want to get that edge up on the seasons, like I'm speaking in this video, you'll join them today. Yes, sir. Now, let's get back to our regular scheduled programming. All right, so we're getting ready to stamp Gallardi's name on the back of this uh, shirt. And I already put Pyra Room, whatever that means. I'm guessing that was a slogan or something he used to say a lot. <laughs> but there's a Gallardi. And here's the back of the collar. Not the yoke, but the back. And I might scoot it up a little bit. I like to leave it down so it can run right across the shoulder wings. And I just scooted this up so you guys can tell and see. Like so. We're going to stamp right there. And I'll be back. Close the video. Here's the front of the Gallardi shirt. With the Pyra Room. Don't ask me what that means. I have no idea. You guys have to Google that. And on the back, it simply says Gallardi. Which was the host name at the time. And I left the tag in. And this is about the placement that I want if I'm doing anything on the back. Not up here because right here is where the yoke of the collar stops. So I always just give it a little bit of room. And plus you gotta think the shirt's gonna go up over the shoulders, all right? So when you lift it on the back, you can see where that's gonna land. So that Gallardia lands somewhere up in around this area. And I'm using this mannequin just to demonstrate. But yo, let's wrap this video up. Yo, we've reached the end of this video. Make sure you guys go ahead over to Creative Fabrica. Use the link down below. And remember, that first month is only gonna cost you a dollar, four quarters. Then every month after that, so long as you use my link, it will be $19 a month. Trust me, this will help expeditiously. In TI's words, when it comes to you creating your one-of-a-kind custom. A lot of us don't have that art skill, and a lot of us are just simply looking for a font that's never been used or seen before. Hint the term, over 5 million graphic designs and fonts. Trust me, guys, go ahead and use it. But until the next one, y'all, no, before I get to that, break the sky with your creativity. Don't let nobody get in the way of what makes you you, what makes you unique, what makes you great. What makes you stand out from all the rest? At the end of the day, people are definitely going to try to pull you back down with the misery loves company. And don't be a part of that. Don't subject yourself to negative vibes. I say all of that to say this. It's only one you and enjoy your life. Enjoy your time that you've been put here on earth to do. But in uh, the best words possible and something I always like to end off on is I'm out.